دارالحکمت میں سب کو سازش کے طالب علم ہیں وہ مائک پر تشریف لائیں اور اپنی تقریب پیش کریں بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین والعاقبة للمتقین والعقاب على الظالمين والصلاة والسلام على رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد His Excellency Hazrat Amir Al-Shari'at Highly Qualified Islamic Scholars Dear Believers and our respectful guests Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today I am going to deliver a speech on the topic of burning Palestine and its Muslims Dear audience as we all have been observing that cruelty and atrocity is prevailing all over the world. The big oppressors, the small and the strong oppressors, the weak. But we must know that cruelty and injustice create problems, calamity and disaster. Dear audience, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has threatened oppressor with a painful and severe punishment in the Holy Quran. He said, which means we have prepared a painful punishment for oppressors and tyrants. He says in another place, وَلَا تَحْسَمَ مَنْ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ إِنَّمَا يُؤَفِّرُهُمْ لِيَوْمٍ تَشْخَصُ فِيهِ الْأَبْصَارِ مُفِقِينَ مُقْنِعِي وَغُوْسِهِمْ لَا يَرْتَدُّ إِلَيْهِمْ طَرْفُهُمْ وَافِذَةٌ مَرَةٌ Consider not that Allah is an aware of that which the wrong words do. But he gives them respect up to a day when the eyes will stay in horror, they will be moving forwards, their hairs rest up, their glance does not come back to them, and their hearts are void. My brothers, it's crystal clear that the result of cruelty and injustice, oppression, my brother, it's crystal clear, oppression and tyrants. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa said, when people see an oppressor but do not prevent him from committing sins, it is likely that Allah will punish them all. My dear audience, as you know very well what is happening to Palestinians and Masjid Aqsa for the last more than a year, you must know what Israel is committing against for civilians, particularly innocent children, women and innocent civilians, particularly genocide and terrorism. It destroyed the Holy Land, Holy Mosque, killed numerous children, women and innocent civilians. Bombarded countless houses, shops, mosques, schools, and even hospitals. But people around the world, including the United Nations organizations, so-called humanitarians and Muslim countries, are together being dubbed, damned, lamb, and paralyzed. In this, in this difficult situation, people are having different opinions, different points of views, and different thoughts. The wise become fools, the strong become weak, the holder of security parents become assistant to the murderers and tyrants and killers. The standard absolutely changed. The criteria totally reversed. The oppressed were met the oppressors, the oppressor were met oppressed, and people of truth remained silent, silent and silent. They had peace in their homelands, while the people of Gaza are oppressed and killed, bombarded, tortured, persecuted and buried in the grave. Despite all this, they are named as terrorists in the global media. Their audience, answer me this question, is it not an injustice, brutality, operations? Yes, of course, it is a great separation and tyranny that can never ever be forgiven and forgotten for ignorance. So every believer who has a spark of fire in his heart and believes in the day of judgment and looks at humanity and gives value must stand against the extremist deceitful and unjust Israelis and rise up against their control over Palestine with everything he can. This story says that the disaster of Palestine entered each and every house of Muslims and words of grief and lament over the deceased and Palestinians are only uttered today. But you must know if the ocean are filled up with tears and meetings are organized over crying and weeping will never benefit nor save the al -Quds. As no one in history was able to convert defeat into conquer and failure into success by only crying and weeping will without supporting it with action. Were the conquerors and predecessors able to do so? Tell me, did Hazrat Farooq radiallahu ta'ala and choose to conquer Jerusalem by only crying and speaking? Furthermore, it was Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, may God have mercy upon him, who gave sacrifices for his precious life and went in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, hoping for one of the two good deeds. Madagam or Wakti, and they were striving very really in this regard. After that, a large victory came to May Allah protect us from injustice and oppression, protect us from all evil and harm, 
and destroy the oppressors and wrongdoers and support the oppressed and poor army ya rabbal alamin here i want to conclude my speech asking allah's forgiveness for me and all muslims thank you so much for listening to me patiently and carefully thank you so much wassalam ma sha allah aap